get familiarized and create SQL Server Analysis services. In this video, we will see about introduction to SQL Server Analysis services. What to learn? Number one is what is SQL Server Analysis services? What are the important features of SSAS? Familiarization of SSAS environment. I will discuss some features and definitions and I'll go directly with the environment. Okay, there. So for we to start, okay, we go now here with SSDT. Okay, we're gonna click file. On clicking file, click new, and then go to project. On the left section, we have options for business intelligence. Click analysis services. I'm gonna discuss one by one what's the importance of choosing the category. Okay, so let's start with analysis services, multi-dimensional and data mining project. This is the main template for in if you would like create a project and SQL Server analysis services, you will just pick this one. Okay. So next is the import from server. This is where you create a new data mining project by importing the metadata from an existing data mining project on another server. Next is the analysis services tabular project. So this is where you create a new blank tabular model project in SQL Server data tools. Next is the import from Power Pivot. So this is where you create a new tabular model project by importing the metadata and data from a Power Pivot workbook by using import from Power Pivot project template. Now we go to import for server tabular. This is where you use a data import wizard to connect to and select data to be imported into a model project. Now we will choose analysis services multidimensional and data mining project. Then we're gonna discuss the environment. Okay, so right now, here is the SSAS, multi-dimensional project. So I'll be discussing the folders under this project, each folder, okay? So before I start discussing the environment, SSAS is a, an analytical data engine used in decision support and business analytics providing the um, analytical data for business reports and client applications such as Power BI, Excel, reporting services report, and other uh, data visualization tools. A typical workflow includes a multidimensional or tabular data model and it deploying the uh, model as a database to an on-premise SQL Server analysis service. It can be implemented also in Azure. So setting up, recurring, or data processing and assigning permissions to allow data access by end users. So when it's ready to go, your semantic data model can be accessed by any client application supporting an SSAS as a data source. So in other words, SSAS is a Microsoft technology from BI, so which helps you to develop online analytical processing solutions. So what is online analytical processing solutions, okay? So all or all up. All up is a, a part of category of business intelligence, which is it can encompass relational database, report writing and data mining. So SSAS plays predictive analytic capabilities in the hand of information workers by creating an instant connection to backend data using familiar applications such as Microsoft Excel and SharePoint for analysis. Okay, let's start with the uh, folders. So data source. A data source object in this service specifies a direct connection on an external data source. In addition to physical location, a data source object specifies the connection string, data provider credential, and other properties that control the connection behavior. Next is the data source view. Data source view or a DSV is a um, abstraction of relational data source that becomes the basis of the cube and dimensions you create in a multi-dimensional project. The purpose of a DSV is to give you control over the data structure 
use in your project and work to independently underlying data sources. For example, the ability to rename or concatenate columns without directly modifying the original data source. Next is the cube. A cube is a multidimensional structure that contains information for analytical purposes. So the main constituent of a cube are dimensions and measures. So dimensions define the structure of a cube that you use to slice and dice over. So next is the dimensions. A database dimension is a collection of related objects called attributes, which can be used to provide information about fact, data, and one or more cubes. So for example, typical attributes in a product dimension might be product name, category or line, size, and price. So these objects are bound to one or more columns in one or more tables in a data source views. By default, these attributes are visible on a attribute hierarchy and can be used to understand the fact data in a cube. So attributes can be organized into user-defined hierarchies that provide navigational path to assess users when browsing the data in a cube. Mining structures. So mining structure defines the data from which mining models are built. It specifies the source data view, the number and types of column, and an optional partition into training and test sets. Roles. So SSAS relies on Windows authentications and roles to determine user permission. So when you create a new data connector on a project and or a SSAS data provider, you have the option to connect using roles impersonation, which uh, you allow to control a access to cube data on a uh, per user basis. So analysis uh, roles. Analysis services provides a role-based authorization model that grants access to operation, object, and data. All users who access a analysis services instance or database must do so within the context of a role. Next is assemblies. So Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services supplies a lot of intrinsic functions for use with the uh, multidimensional expression or the MDX and data mining extension, DMX language. So designed to accomplish everything from standard statistical calculation to traversing member in a hierarchy. But as with any other complex and robust product, there is always the needs to um, extend the functionality of product further, such as a product something. Okay. Therefore, analysis services on this folder, this will give you the capability to add assemblies to an analysis services instance or database. So assembly let you create external UDF or user-defined function using any common language runtime or CLR, such as Microsoft.NET, C Sharp. You can also use component object model automation language, such as Visual Basic or C++. Next is the folder miscellaneous. Files that are external to any project are called miscellaneous files. So you have a solution open, you can open and modify miscellaneous files related to this project. So a file is classified as a miscellaneous file if the uh, file extension is not associated with the uh, project code editor. So let's say flat file or something. So dot text, dot Excel, something. So the summary of what we are discussing is SQL Server Analysis Services is a technology from Microsoft Business Intelligence. So this is used to develop online analytical processing solution. In simple term, you can use SSAS to create cubes using data from data warehousing for deeper and faster data analysis. This ends our demo for this video. So I'll be creating a project on the next video as what we uh, are scheduled.